Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to the Creative Cow Photoshop Podcast. What I want to do here is show you how to size an image for video. So in Photoshop, I'll click Create New. You'll notice that there's a Film and Video category, and here you'll find a series of presets. This makes it easy to find the right size document, and you'll see everything from 8K video down to standard definition. Let's go with something really common here, and that is a UHD 4K size. So when I click, it automatically puts in the correct pixel dimensions and color space. Now I'll click Create, and it makes a new document. My suggestion is choose File, Place. This is going to make it very easy, and we'll use the Place Embedded command to add the photograph in. What you can now do is navigate to the image that you want to use. And what I'll do is select a photograph. Now, if that image happens to be a RAW file, the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box is going to open up. This makes it easy for you to process the file. For example, we can click Auto and it quickly adjusts. I've got the clipping indicators turned on here, so I can see if any of my white points need to be recovered or my highlights to rescue details so that they don't blow out, or if I need to lift any of the shadows up because those blue pixels indicate crushed pixels. We can play with the overall contrast, vibrance, etc. And I'm going to put a little clarity in here for some nice detail and contrast. From the Sharpen tab, let's increase the amount slider, but hold down the Option key as we drag, and this lets me visualize the mask and the sharpening. So I'm just going to sharpen this image, but only the edges, so we get edge detail and no noise. Now, it looks pretty good. So when I click the OK button, it's going to add that in. And you'll notice that it dropped in the raw photo. Now, holding down the Option key, it'll start to scale from the middle. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you might need to add the Shift key. But Option or Alt will automatically scale from the center, and you could adjust the picture. Now, place it where you want for the frame. Get the shot composed in a way that you like and then just press the return key. Now the file is ready to go and you can easily save it. My suggestion is file save as and store this as a TIFF file. The benefit of the TIFF is it's uncompressed, but what we can do here is choose to include the layers. Now when I click save and I choose OK, it's going to automatically capture that document in a format that's ready to use by video or motion graphics applications. Let's jump into After Effects for a second and bring it in. Now, if we import that graphic, I want you to notice something. First up, whether you're using Premiere, After Effects, or really any other application, it comes in at the size you need. In this case, UHD, so it's the correct dimension. And it treats it as just a simple graphic, no layers or anything fancy. But if needed, you can choose to edit this. Now, with the layer selected, I'll press Command or Control E, and you see it opens up into Photoshop. And in fact, the layer is intact. If I double click, the Smart Object opens up, and we can continue to refine. For example, let's click the Profiles button here and apply a nice, rich profile for Adobe Vivid and I can click OK, and the image updates. Maybe I want to make another adjustment here to Curves, and I'll apply Medium Contrast. Close and Save, and when we switch back to After Effects or Premiere, you see it updates. Now, this works super easy. If for some reason when you press Command E it doesn't take you into Photoshop, just reveal this in the Finder or Explorer, and check the properties make sure it's set to open with Photoshop and you can click change all if needed. Now from After Effects or Premiere when you choose to edit original it'll just jump you back to Photoshop where you can easily make a change. My name is Rich Harrington thanks for checking out this week's episode we'll have more videos on creativecow.net all about using Photoshop both for photography and for video purposes and a big thanks to our partner Luminar Flex which is a super cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching.